guys, what is up, Red here? I know it's a bit weird that I am in the flesh and not in the void of recording a video game video, but we're gonna be starting a new channel for this series. It's gonna be the Budget BattleBot series. I'm gonna be attempting to build a BattleBot for $100. Not the smartest idea, but we're gonna go for it. And I originally planned on this being a full-sized heavyweight BattleBot that was like 120 pounds, I was in way over my head and realized that I am not gonna be able to do that. One, I'm a little bit more inexperienced and also those bots can cost upwards of $25,000. So we're gonna be building between the hobbyweight and lightweight class. So that's either uh, 20 pounds or 60 pounds. So we're gonna build in that class. But if you don't know what BattleBots is, here's a clip of BattleBots to show you kind of what BattleBots is all about. Now after seeing all that carnage that those bots uh, had, now we're going to talk about the different designs and why I chose the design I did. So there are four main types of bat bots. You have the horizontal spinner, the vertical spinner, the grappler, and the flipper. There are other designs, but those are kind of the four key ones that you'll see a lot of. We're going to work backwards from that. So the flipper typically uses hydraulics or pneumatics to be able to launch their bots across. Some of the bots that are famous for these are bots like Hydra or Bronco. And those bots typically will try to destroy the other bot by either launching them out of the, the arena or just throwing them up in the air so many times that they destroy their own internals. Then we have the grappler. Some of the famous grapplers are ones like Quantum and Kraken. And those bots are typically used to grab on and pierce the armor of the other opponent to try to destroy the internals. Then we have the vertical spinner. Some famous vertical spinners are Bite Force and Cobalt. Bite Force originally was a grappler bot, but now it's a vertical spinner. So Bite Force and Cobalt. Those bots are known for destruction and they can launch their opponents with their blades. Those are very destructive bots, but they may not be the most destructive because typically the most destructive bots are the horizontal spinners. Horizontal spinners, some of the famous horizontal spinners are Rotator and the one that is known as the King of Kinetic Energy, Tombstone. And Tombstone almost always gets a KO. It destroys it. But one of the disadvantages of a horizontal spinner is that it always, you have to be very, you have to be very careful because you can destroy your own bot with the amount of force that you're putting into it. So I'm going with the vertical spinner because I think that's the best design for what I want to do because grapplers and flippers, both those styles of bots re require typically pneumatics or uh, hydraulics. And those hydraulics or pneumatics are extremely expensive. So I'm not going to be doing that. Then you le it leaves me with the horizontal spinner or the vertical spinner. The reason I'm going with the vertical spinner is because the vertical spinner typically is a bit easier to make and also I don't want to be stuck with the lack of speed or gyrosco gyroscopic effect that you'll typically see on a horizontal spinner. And with that, let's head to my first goodwill run to see what motors we can find. And also I'll show you the design on the way. Okay, so this is this is the uh this is the drivetrain basis setup. I'm not completely sure how big this is gonna be, but as you can see, there's going to be a motor here and a motor here. Both those motors are going to be connected to change, which are going to be connected to the wheels. The wheels are going to have gears and the wheels are going to both, all sets of wheels are going to have gears. Motors going to have a gear ratio to be able to make those wheels move. That's the basic. But then when we talk about the weapon, the weapon can have many different forms. It can be, and vertical spinners aren't limited to just, oh, they, uh, they, they're just like a piece of metal like this that spins vertically like it rotates like this it, you don't you're not stuck with that kind of bot you can also have something like along the lines of like a drum spinner i'll put, show a picture of a really famous drum spinner minotaur right here but drum spinners typically will rotate like this and they're known for doing a lot of damage but the gyroscopic effects are really really painful and also i don't think i'm gonna it's gonna be possible for me to find a a hunk of metal that big that i can that, that is reasonably affordable so then there's always the circular design similar to cobalt which um has like 
is similar to a saw blade, but will have like this little lip out and that'll, that'll spin and then it'll hit the bot and it'll do a lot of damage because it's sharp. It's like sharp, but it'll do a lot of damage because it not only launches the bot, but also like can tear into the bot. But the issue with that is, is that if I did that, I would have to have like multiple saw blades welded together plus something sticking out and then a gear attached to that that's running off a chain motor. It's running off a motor and it'll be spinning really fast. So I'm thinking, one of my ideas, one of my ideas is, is that we take a saw blade, but we cut it in half. We weld those together like so, like that. And then you take two, two, basically two of those, and then you can take it and make it like this kind of, I lost track of how this is supposed to look, but basically it's supposed to be like a pinwheel kind of design that would bludgeon, but also be sharp enough to cut through a watermelon. My whole goal is to be able to destroy many kinds of fruits remotely. There are multiple different design ideas, but it depends on what I find. Because if I can find a hunk of metal that's really cheap, just a straight piece of metal, I will go with this kind of vertical spinner design, this this one right here, this this vertical spinner design. If I can't, I'll, if I find like a pack of like, eight eight inch saw blades for really cheap like a pack of like four and weld them together i would probably do that design drum spinner not gonna happen drum spinner's out but the pinwheel design is also possible so all those designs are possible basically now my only issue is me having no clue what kind of motors i'm going to be having because i've had an idea of using a grinder motor as the motor for the weapon because the grinders are known for go spinning at really fast speeds. Grinders are sp spin at really fast speeds so they can shave stuff off. And typically when you see a grinder, you'll see it like this and it has like its switch and such. And But typically the motor's not even up front where the, where the actual gr disc is. It's typically down here in the bottom near where the power cord is because the power cord basically hooks directly up to it. And so that... Is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a grinder that I can take the motor out of. And typically I want one that can spin near like a thousand to two thousand RPM because I can gear that up to be able to spin at really fast speeds. The, these motors on the other hand, the motors for the drivetrain on the other hand, are going to be the kinds of motors that you maybe find in a VCR which are uh, which would play VHS tapes. But those motors are pretty pretty fast. I just have to do a good gear ratio to have enough torque to drive. And then there's the issue of the wheels. Wheels are expensive. You don't know how expensive wheels are until you try to find wheels for cheap. The I am looking at buying like some wheelbarrow wheelbarrow wheels because those are surprisingly cheap, and you can get like a four pack of those for like twenty bucks. But that's like a fifth of my budget. So. Now knowing all of this, we're gonna run to get, we're gonna head over to Goodwill. I'm gonna vlog that. And I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm supposed to find, along with the uh the fact of I may not buy anything, but we're going to look and to see if I can find anything. If I find something like a grinder that like I look up has great RPM, is a great grinder, I may buy it. But at this point we're just gonna look to see what I can find, see what I can find for motors, and then I'll head home and we can end the video there and I'll once and then the next video will be me starting to program and build. So I uh, finally made it to Goodwill, but it did not turn out the way I intended. So freaking Google recommended like the farthest one out. It's like a full on 10 miles out from my house. So I drove like past some places that I never thought I'd be driving past. So now it's time to go in and we're gonna see what we can find. So first Goodwill was a bust. There was nothing I was looking for there. No grinders, one VCR, but the VCR I was, I did some research. It was a really weak motor in there. So now I have to drive to another <laughs> Goodwill. <laughs> Google don't fail me. I need to actually like head closer to my house. So. I think I saw one down the street, so I might just go down the street and then we'll we'll, we'll see. Well, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys once I get to the next goodwill. Uh, 
on to the second goodwill i just drove from the first one now to the second one and then if i find anything i'll probably head home if not i'm probably going to go to savers which is another store similar to goodwill and much pro and typically con concluded is much nicer but once once i do that if i don't find anything I'll come back on like a different day, like a Saturday or something like that, a free set, like a half off Saturday, something like that. But uh, we'll see what we can find. I know there's, there's a grinder at Harbor Freight that's $15. That is probably gonna be my main weapon motor. But if if I can find a grinder here, then that'll make it cheaper. But we'll just see what, what I can get when I come here and go through. So I'll talk to you guys and show you my haul if I actually have a haul after. So Goodwill number two is bust. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board because I realized here at this Goodwill that I don't have a plan. And by I don't have a plan, I mean, I don't have like, okay, I need this amount of motors and I need this, they like, they require this much power. Like I'm not, I don't know the electrical stuff, which means I'm gonna have to do a lot more research. So I think we're gonna end, end this video here. So that's it for today's episode. See you guys next time. Woo!